Hello and welcome to Open Boosters. Uh, Mark Rosewater asked a question and I decided to help as pretend CEO of Match the Gathering. Ah, uh, the craziness. Saw the tweet from uh, actually Talarian. It just came through my notifications and I figured I'd help out with Double Masters. I mean, sure enough, he asked for help in his little thing. And uh, that's fine, you know, because people are upset because of the price point of the Double Masters box. Oh my gosh, but what's in it? Oh, the craziness. We got 24 packs. I love Double Masters. It's got two rares, two foils. Ooh, spicy. And then it's got two non-borderless, shadowless box toppers and that kind of stuff. And it's about 300 bucks a box. Craziness. And I've also watched uh, some other YouTubers out there and well, Rudy's right, it's actually undervalued. Especially, you know, with all the cards that they're going to put in it. Craziness. Oh my gosh, the reprints. They're going to be expensive. Yes, the box is going to be undervalued at $300. And Wizards of the Coast should make it undervalued. Why should they make it undervalued? Because it sells boxes and we don't care. We, we're CEO and I don't care, right? So Mark, the price point of $300 a box is correct. But... Tolarian is also correct. It'll gonna be a problem with them because, well, they're not gonna buy the boxes. And as CEO, I want everybody to buy boxes. But you asked for help, and I'm here to help. And I'm CEO, pretending to be CEO, and I know how to do this. Now the reason they priced it at three hundred dollars is so the secondary market can, in fact, go up. And as it goes up, people will buy more boxes because, well, they see that it's worth more. And so that's a good thing. However, we need something else. It's something that we have. Well, we'll just say that we haven't. Um, we need to produce a product that is equivalent, yet less. In value. Craziness. Mm. So how can we do that? Well, we're going to remove the bling bling. Yep. We're going to remove all the foils. They're gone. And then we're going to change it to have a box topper with one booster pack that has two rare foils and then the rest of the junk has foils and then that'll be fine right because you get the box topper and you get all the playing cards so then you've removed all the bling right there's no shadowless box topper and that kind of stuff you've removed all the bling but yet you can draft the crud out of it and we can sell it for half the price perfect right man so now we have the community that can't afford it that wants to buy it and wants the cards so that they can play it right there in the secondary market and we're going to sell it for half price hmm. i know this is a new concept to you but it can be done mark i'm telling you that right now i know if we only had an example of such stuff being sold at high and low value you know i know it's hard concept to understand but it can be done I know this must be new for Wizards of the Coast, too. And as pretend CEO, I know we can do that. Because you got to find a balance between high and low. Craziness. And I think you can do it. I just think you can. You can put the two rares in there because it's going to be fantastic. And more people will play the game. And you can sell it for half the price and still make the money. It's going to be good. But I do not recommend raising the price point of your crazy box, you know, the big expensive one. And uh, that's because we want that secondary market to be booming, all right? Because as soon as the secondary market stops booming, that's when we have to sell our boxes for less and we don't want that. We want them to believe that they're going to make some money. That's what we want them to believe and we want that to be kind of true. In a short term, at least, bare minimum. So, I'm telling you, Mark, this is how you solve the glitch. Tolarian's right. People need to be able to draft it. People need to be able to get a cheaper box. Build them the cheaper box. And as CEOs, pretend CEO, remove the bling bling, keep the double rare factor, keep it, and produce that box. It would be fine. Even the 24 packs. You can put 24 packs in there, too. That's fine. And a box topper. You can put a box topper in there if you want, but it has to be at least one less than the Ooper Duper Dingaling box. Okay? Because the Ooper Duper Dingaling box is for people who want to pay Ooper Dingaling prices. Alright? 
You can put a shadow, but it has to be at least one less. Okay? One less. All right, so if you don't want to produce that extra booster pack that I talked about with the foils, you produce just one shadowless box from the topper and you put that in there, just one. Unless you want to put four in there. I think it's only got two. I, mean, I think it's only got one box topper, right? Two non-foil borderless shadow case box topper cards. Okay, so it's got two box topper cards. You put one in the cheaper box. Can't put two. But you could put two foil rares. I would be have no problem with that. As long as you make sure there's more than two foil rares in the super dingling box. All right, because if we're going to sell something at super dingling prices, it's got to be way better than the cheaper version, <laughs> right? So, and and we've done this before. So, Mark, go out there, get it done. All right, okay, you get it now. It makes sense. You can do it, and then the people can draft it, and everyone's happy, and we all can be, you know, having a good time. And then I'll put more modern cards into people's things that they wanted. So. There you go. You're good now. All right? Problem solved. As pretend CEO, I know how to get this stuff done. It's craziness. You should hire me. Now, as the thank you, it'd be nice if you sent me a preview card of some kind of set at some point in the near future. That'd be nice. Or maybe a boost pack. Just contact me at openboosters at gmail.com, Mark, or, you know, send me a Twitter. <laughs> I would like anything from Wizards of the Coast. But that's what I would do. And it bridges the gap, and it's very simple. You didn't, I don't think you needed to stretch very far to ask, you know? Because, you know, you, you asked, and that's, I'm giving you the answer. Super duper expensive, cheaper version for draft, it's fine. It's awesome. All right, everybody gets everything. So good deal. We've solved it, the glitch is done. We're good. All right. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit comment, and if you liked what I said, send it over to Mark, send it over to Larian, send it to whoever, I don't care. All right, have a good day, everyone.